On 7 News Now, a health scare for Ethel Kennedy. Her family says she had a stroke in her sleep last week. The 96-year-old is in the hospital right now. Loved ones asking for thoughts and prayers. Jonathan Hall with the update. A family friend tells me Ethel Kennedy is resting comfortably at a medical facility here in Massachusetts after she suffered a stroke. 96-year-old Ethel Kennedy suffered a stroke in her sleep Thursday, according to the Kennedy family. Her daughter, Carrie Kennedy, said her mom had a great summer and early fall as she enjoyed time with her family and was able to get out onto the water on the family's sailboat and at the Hyannisport Kennedy compound and the home where she has lived for decades. And the matriarch's grandson, Joseph B. Kennedy III, is among those releasing the family statement, which says in part, she is, as you may know, a strong woman who has led a remarkably fulfilling life. We are here looking after her. She out Kennedy the Kennedys in many ways. BU political science professor Thomas Whalen has written two books on the Kennedys and is writing a third. He says Ethel fit right in with the raucous Kennedy clan. She was, in fact, probably more competitive than they were. And like them, she believed in the importance of winning at all things. The widow of Senator Robert F. Kennedy, who was assassinated in 1968 as he ran for president, Ethel Kennedy had 11 children, two of whom died tragically. She's a woman of deep faith. <laughs> a whispered funny comment during a photo op at her son Joe's wedding in 1993 in Brighton was typical of Ethel's energy, spirit, and humor. A decade ago, President Barack Obama awarded her the Presidential Medal of Freedom, this nation's highest civilian honor. At the JFK Museum in Hyannis, a tour guide told us she met Ethel at a wedding and is in awe of all she has accomplished, especially since RFK's death 56 years ago. He was very young when he died, so she's been carrying on for a lot of years. The Kennedy family always been close to my hearts, too, and my prayers. And the Kennedys say in their statement those prayers are very welcome. In Hyannisport, Jonathan Hall, 7 News.